This is Ableton Certified Double Spot Instructor Thavius Beck with another edition of Did You Know? Did you know that when you select the key map or MIDI map button, there are certain things that pop up that aren't normally displayed that allow you to MIDI map or key map certain functions within Live that you probably didn't know about before. So let's check this out. Right now, I'm not using a MIDI controller, okay? I've got a beat here uh, that I've made and I have it laid out in different scenes. So I'm gonna go through a couple of the scenes really quickly. It's a very, very simple beat. Using some weird synth sounds in the operator. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to be able to, again, I'm not using a MIDI controller here, so I'd like to be able to key map some way to go through the different scenes and to be able to launch certain stuff, okay? Um, so in order to do that, what I can do is, if I hit my key map button, okay, the same thing will happen if I hit the key map or the MIDI map button, all right? So I'm going to hit key map, and I want you to pay attention in this area here and in this area over here, okay? You're going to see something that you don't see now, all right? So if I hit key map, boom. So again... If you look right here, now you see this play button, an up arrow, a down arrow, and this box with a number in it. Underneath all the tracks, we see these little play buttons, and then uh, obviously we have this little stop clip button right here, okay? Now all this can be mapped to a key, okay, on our computer keyboard, or if we're using a MIDI controller, same deal. This all can be mapped to something on a MIDI controller, okay? Now, let me just explain what this stuff is. If we look over here, okay, this all governs our ability to scroll through and launch different scenes, all right? This play button here uh, will play whatever scene is currently highlighted. And again, a scene is just a horizontal row of clips. This bar right here, this light gray bar is showing us the current scene that's highlighted. So this will play that current scene. Uh, the up arrow will scroll through the scenes going up. This will go down. And then this box with the number, this so uh, you can assign this to a rotary knob, and then you can use that knob to scroll through the scenes. So it just gives you more control that way, okay? In addition to that, underneath each track, we have this play button. And what this will do, this will actually play the clip that's highlighted in that particular scene. So let's say that you don't want to play the entire scene, okay? Maybe you just want to play the clip that's in this particular track. You could assign a button to do that. All right. And then you also have a stop button here for each individual track as well. So we can play an entire scene, scroll through the scenes, and then we could also just play one particular clip in a scene. So let's assign all this. Again, I'm going to use key mapping because I'm not using a MIDI controller. So with my key map, I'm going to assign the scene launch button to A. I'm going to assign my up arrow to Z, my down arrow to X. All right. And I'm also going to, I'm going to assign the play button here to Q, play button here to W, play button here to E, and this play button to R, okay? So now using my computer keyboard, I'm going to be able to scroll through my scenes, okay, using Z and X, all right? And I can play a scene using A, okay, scroll through different scenes. Then if I want to just play a particular clip in a track, for instance, let me say I want to play the, the clip that's in uh, the last track, I can go to that and hit my R button. So this little hidden MIDI mappings are really, really helpful, uh, especially when you're doing a live show set and you're doing your show set in the session view. Typically, I'll have a bunch of different uh, MP3s or different clips or stems uh, all in the session view, all properly warped, all looping, and then I can just scroll through my scenes and I can trigger individual clips as opposed to launching an entire scene. Uh, and the way that we do that again is just either key or MIDI mapping, your ability to scroll through and launch scenes as well as individual clips. Extremely helpful. So I hope that's helped you. And now you know. This is Ableton certified DubSpot instructor, Thavius Beck. Signing off. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. 
For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.